Don't you stinking dare be- Okay, good. <sighs> now what's up? I'm thinking this will go a lot better if we split up. Nope. Group this big can't exactly sneak around. Particularly if they're expecting us. Eleanor's in there somewhere. I'm going after her. Then I'm coming with you. Lingard brought her to the clinic. That's your best bet. Javi, that's where you'll go to get Kate and Gabe. Then bring them to my house. It's the one with the raven on the hitching post. We'll all meet up there. After I pay a little visit to Joan. Stay out of sight. They'll be keeping an eye out for us. As soon as I can get Kate and Gabe, we'll see you back at the house. Roger that. I'll scout ahead. What about you, Clem? I'm pretty sure I've still got some friends in the New Frontier. Ava? If they know where AJ's being held. They'll tell me. As soon as I find him, I'm taking that truck and getting the hell out of here. Well, All right. You are owed a vehicle. Keep an eye on David. He may be playing nice, but I'd still watch your back. All right. I'm with you, Clem. He rubs me the wrong way. As soon as I get Kate and Gabe, I'm gonna figure out what's best for us. And well, you. I hope it involves getting far away from here. But you're no dummy. Your instincts have been right most of the time. I know you'll make the right call. See you when I see you. Aww. David said to hang a ride up at that corner. Seems clear so far. Let's move. I'm not getting any time to talk about my feelings cause they don't care. I don't know why I stopped there. And there, game is weird. Sometimes, what the fruit? You know Javi Garcia? Uh, He's hello. He's shortstop for Baltimore. That Javier Garcia? That's, That's who we're looking me. for? Yeah, that Javier Garcia. Yes, this is anyway, Javier Garcia. Sounds like some paranoid horse shit. Guy's a fucking ball player. There's the medical center. So they're talking smack about we me. We go in, we get out, we get Kate and Gabe, we get out. Not that easy, man. We've seen the Maykays before, and they ain't afraid to use them. All right, let's hang out here for a while. Smoke break. Damn it. We need a distraction. How's your throwing arm? Oh boy. Oh, am I actually gonna do it? I'm actually gonna. Oh, we're just throwing it. Lame. Where you want it? Uh, right here, I guess. What the fuck? Who's just a ball player now, son? Shit, we need to get the fire crew or that shit could burn down the block. I, like how, I also like how that was a perfectly round rock. You couldn't have just taken out a window. Did the trick, didn't it? Kate. You guys find out. Tell her we're moving Kate. Sounds good. We'll meet you here. Javi! Wow. Was expecting that. We thought you were... I was... super worried. Like, a lot. Are you guys okay? They didn't hurt you, did they? No, we're fine. They said you guys were denied entry. It's true. We're on borrowed time. The people who run this place, they're ruthless. We have to move. Where's my dad? Is he coming? Don't worry, buddy. We're gonna go meet up with him. Excuse me? Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. David I'm sorry. David has a house in town. He thinks we'll be okay there. Then let's go. 
I'm sorry, Wait, please Javi, don't be mad. While you were gone, this woman, Joan, came by. I felt like she was sizing me up. It was creepy. She implied David was in trouble. Like he was no longer in charge. Yeah, I don't think he she is. She kept saying Gabe and I didn't need to worry, but it only made me worry more. I got a bad feeling from her. Joan's been running this place behind David's back. She's pulling the strings. What do you mean? The people who shot you? Answer to her. She ordered raids on other settlements. We found all this stuff from Prescott. She was behind Prescott? David's rounding up allies to confront her right now. Javi, I know you wanted to try it here, but this isn't our fight. We already lost Mari because of these people. Now, the whole place is about to become a war zone. What? W what do you mean? The only thing I care about is keeping you safe. Then you know we can't get involved. Uh... What's going on? Tripp said we had to move to David's house. We're not doing that. We're getting the fuck out of Richmond before oh, it's Oh, no, 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 no. You shouldn't even be sitting up. What? What about my dad? We can't just leave him. There's no way we're going to just be able to play Gabe, along. Oh, no. She's not, is she going to die? They said she was okay. Anymore. The doctor said she we was. We have to get away before he gets us all killed. But he, he won't know where we are. Again. I can't go back oh, to how no. things were before. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I just can't. I'm sorry, Gabe. But we have to get out of here. If we're leaving, I've got to get some things for the road. All my stuff is stashed in the room they gave me. I'll come with you. We'll catch up with you guys. Sounds good. I'm trusting you on this one, Kate. <laughs> Gabe, come help. Wish I could trust everyone. I got it. That can never stinking happen. Apparently. Come on, buddy. I'm not going, Javi. Oh, of course not. What? I'm gonna find my dad. Dude, can you not? I have to. I'm sorry. Gabe, please don't do this. I'm sorry. I love you, Uncle Javi, but this is something I have to do. You, you can't do this on your own. You can't. Gabe, no. Javi, no. stink and force him. Please, you... Gabe. Please. I never thought I could be a mom. I never thought I wanted to be a mom until I met you and your sister. I'm begging you, don't do this. It's my dad, Kate. I can't lose him again. And I can't lose you. Please. None of these are good. Just, just say goodbye, Kate. I can't, Javi. Look at me, Gabe. Please. God darn it. At the very least, remember who your friends are in the end. It's his father, Kate. It's what he wants. And this is what you want. What we want. We got so close in the last few years. I... I thought Gabe would want to stay with us. I really saw him as my kid. I guess he didn't feel the same way. He's growing up fast, Kate. We have to trust him to do what's right. I know. It's just hard to say goodbye. I'd hold it there, folks. Oh boy. And I'd consider explaining yourselves. I'd talk fast. Fast and clear. Could you please point those somewhere else? That's him, right? The brother? Thought so. 
Bring him in. What's your X X X X Run! Oh, this will only end poorly. This is terrible. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. You cannot end the episode like that. Seriously? Oh no, long loading screen. Long loading screen. And yay! We're not done yet! I don't like your tone, David. If this is about your brother... Don't pretend like you don't know what this is about. You've got a lot to answer for. Me? You must be joking. What's this? They were trying to leave. Him and his lady... Oh, God. Leave. I asked you to get Kate and Gabe safe. Yeah, I was getting them safe. Run. Were you really gonna desert me when I needed you most? Richmond's not safe. It's no place for an injured woman and a boy. So you were just gonna leave me to it, huh? No. Where are they now? Girl got oh, away. Oh boy, he's no angry. No sign of the kid. We'll deal with this later. Okay, thanks. And despite what we all agreed, you smuggled your brother back into Richmond. What happened to you, David? It hurts me to see you betray your own people. You've got some damn nerve. We used to be so close. Now I hardly know you who like you are. You like straight talk? I'll give you straight well, you're talk. You're one to talk. If anyone betrayed Richmond, it's you, Joan. What are you people talking about? So this is your play? You think you can pin this mess on me? What mess? Would someone please explain what's going on? Wait a minute. I can. So Lonnie. Confused. Go ahead, Lonnie. Yeah, Tell Lonnie. Us. I believe in you. They attacked us. Murdered Max and Badger. Oh no, Lonnie! Bitch. They would have got me too. But I was lucky. We did you a favor. Those bastards deserve to die. What? Those are our people you're talking about. They were attacking other settlements, killing and looting on Joan's orders. Is that true, Joan? <laughs> it's nothing but a smoke screen. A pretty damn transparent one, if you ask me. Lonnie, please tell me this isn't true. Come on, Lonnie, Money, I believe in you. We did that. Raided those communities. Hurt those people. Because David told us to. What? Not Joan. Oh, I'm sorry, God. David. I can't do this anymore. I can't hurt anyone else. You fucking liar. David had nothing to do with this. No. I am done lying. This is the first right thing I've done in a long time. Who do I say I trust in this game? This is bullshit. He's covering for Joan. David, just stop. We knew this could Can I just last go with forever. the spinach guy? We confronted him. I'm sticking him. done with all Me, this. Badger, and Max. We were done. We let him know. He said he didn't need us anymore. Not with his brother here now. That's when he... That's when Badger and Max... That's enough! David, stop! Paul, you have to stop her. Or the blood from those raids, it's on your hands. Don't let Joan get away with this. Paul! Paul. You don't know me very well, but my brother's your friend. He wouldn't do what they're saying. You know that. Wait, I don't, you don't even know what I chose right there. To give everyone some time to cool down. No. Don't try and drag him into your mess. The things you've done, they're an assault on what we built here. You and your brother, you're going to have to answer for them. I still have friends here. Allies. This won't stand. You brought this on yourself, David. Oh, no. I'm sorry to say it, but you're done here. They were our family, David. How could you? I'll give you family! Oh no. Oh no. 
And that's an episode for ya. Yep. Oh, oh god. Did you honor your brother's request? You and 36.1% of players kept Mariana's murder to yourself. They okay? I don't know. I I was sort of upset with doing that, but like that would have caused so much tension right off the bat with him. But what would that have solved if I had done that right then and there? Like, I'm pretty sure, like, we got our answers in the end. I don't know. I really don't think it. Now, this game is stinking intense compared to, like, the other two. The other two are already insane, but, like, the fact that I'm playing this blind and everything when I wasn't doing the other two blind, I am not cut out for zombie times. Oh, no! Did you try to save AJ? You and 16.8% of players didn't risk using the medicine. Oh, I regret that immensely. I'm just, I'm sorry. I regret that immensely. But, he, David says he's alive, but I don't know who to trust at all. The only person, actually, yes, I do know who to trust. The only person in this entire game that I trust right now is Clementine. I don't care what happened throughout those other two years that we were without her again. She is the only one I trust, no matter stinking what. And I immensely regretted, I don't know, I regretted not siding with her back during that other time. But in episode two, just a while ago, but I, oh, you're in Lowenthal's in this game, <laughs> but I, I'm sort of okay with it now because me and, I can't remember his name, I think his name is Boyd? Am I right on that? What's the guy's name? Um, we sort of made amends right in the end there. So, and it seems like he's on our side and like he's controllable now. So that's nice. And Clem seems to be okay with us now. So, I'm alright with that. But, what I've been trying to say this entire time, but I was never able to because they didn't give us a single second to rest. Except for the crotch shot, but whatever. No matter what happens, I need to be on Clementine's side 100%. Because, without question, no matter what happens to all these other people that I do care about, and I want to have things go turn out good for them, if anything happens to Clementine and AJ, that will be my most immense regret. So I have to side with her on everything from here on out. I'm really hoping David's not lying about AJ. The second I find out he is lying, I'm done with him. But there's so many people I need to think about. I'm trying to, all right, let's go through the stats first. All right, how did Badger die? You in 5.8, seriously? 5.8% of players let someone else, wait, someone else? Maybe uh, Trip would have done it if we had killed Boyd, I guess. 6% players killed Badger quickly. 64.8% of players destroyed Badger's skull. Okay, apparently there are two different ways you can kill him, like either shoot him or baseball bat. I, okay, I assume that's it. And then 24 23.4% of players let Badger turn. I would not let him turn just because of the risk of having another zombie around. Like, I wouldn't, I'm not even concerned about, like, uh just thinking it's what he deserves to have him have a slow death no that's just another zombie you have to deal with so for that reason kill him but I don't know I think even though I'm with a super minority on a four choice answer I think I made the best decision honestly as long as boy turns out okay in the end I don't even know if that's his name I can't remember oh whatever did you accept I did I get every minor answer in this entire thing and oh Set Max's offer. You and 41.1% of players killed Max. Oh. Why is it whenever I... And like once in a blue moon when I decide to kill someone, it's wrong. Whatever. They would have gotten mad at us for killing the other dude anyway. What? I don't care. Uh, yep, I got every single choice in the minority. Oh my god. Who did you side with in the end? You and 46.5% players chose to leave with Kate. Okay. 
thinking about it, if I didn't side with Kate here, she wouldn't have left us? I don't think Kate would ever leave us, no matter- This sounds horrible, but I don't think she would ever leave us no matter how poorly she gets treated or how many times we don't side with her. Because we're not- She's- She's not afraid of us like David. She'll get mad at us, yeah, but... Uh, let's just go to the screen, I guess. Um, she- She'll get mad at us, yeah, but... I don't think she'll ever get to a point where she's afraid of us, but I don't know. I seriously don't know. Leaving Gabe alone, he's a loose cannon. I'm really hoping he just doesn't forget about, like, what Javi and Kate did for him this entire time. Oh, God. Oh, my God. This is so bad. I was usually so good with same with the majority. Oh, uh, but what do I know? I played the first two not blind, so I could be a complete stinking liar. I have no clue what I would have done under the pressure in those first two games. My God. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Oh, God. And of course, first time they give us a stinking stat that involves the Clementine flashback. Actually, do they all have Clementine flashback? I don't know. Whatever. I don't remember. So, what I wanted to say, like, going into it, I wanted to apologize for my mess up with not, uh, siding with Clem and killing Boyd in that moment. I, I hope his name is Boyd, otherwise it's really stinking awkward. Uh, I want it, like, honestly, like, I saw it as, like, a similar situation in episode two of season one where, uh, Lee had to make a choice that I agreed with, but... It wound up splitting me apart from Kenny for a while. But in the end, Kenny wound up being one of the best people and biggest supports we ever had. So hopefully that's just another situation like this where she won't hold it against us and we could still work together in the end. But I think that's true and I do like my decision now, which is nice. Uh, because I think Boyd's on our side and I think it, everyone's okay with that. Hopefully, oh my god, so, keeping Mariana's murder to ourselves, I think I'm okay with that, that's one less thing for David to be angry with us about, but like, I don't know, considering everything that's happened now, I think that's the least of our concerns, because no one's on anyone's side right now, that's for sure, so, that stinks. Not risking the medicine. I regret that immensely. I thought I was responsible for killing AJ. I don't think you know. If that turns out to be the case, if I, if AJ's existence is dependent on my choices, and if it's this one, oh my god, I, I feel like, oh my god, I don't even want to, oh no, they, there's no way they would have. Like, I was worried they were going to just kill AJ straight up right there. But they took him and kept him. I don't know why they did that. I have no idea why they did that. Oh, I have to just go with it. Because... Oh my god. I have to just go with it, I guess. Because... If AJ's still out there, we need to go find him. 5.8% of us let someone else kill Badger. I killed him. He's dead. Like, I don't care about the 5.8% in that one. Because I was going to make sure he died no matter what. And there was no other option. He could not have survived that. So I'm fine with that. And especially with letting Boyd do it. If, like, he didn't do it, he was like, no, I think we should leave him or something like that. No. Then I'd be upset. But no. He's dead. Boyd got to kill him. We made amends with him in a way. He made amends with us, rather. And I think we're good now, so I'm totally okay with that decision. But then I got in on the killing game and I killed Max. I don't stinking care. <laughs> like, I don't know. I, I'm worried about what will happen. And I know I said it a bunch of times before, like, um, there's never been a point in, in a Walking Dead game where you got in trouble for not killing someone. That's important to remember. But... Oh, we were already going to be in trouble for killing Badger, and I'm, like, I just did not trust it. Like, I don't know. I feel like Max is going to, Max, if we kept him alive, he was either going to betray us, and then we'd kill him in the next episode, or maybe even in this episode. Maybe it would have happened earlier. I have no idea. Or it would have been he 
was I highly doubt. Oh, I don't know. It would have been nice to have answers. I'll say that much. And finally, 46.5 for seven players chose to leave with Kate. I, it would have been nice if the three of us were all together. I wanted to go stay with David just so all of us could be in a group at least. And if it got to a point where, again, <laughs> where Kate and Gabe were going to get taken away from us, we would be in control of it. But now we cause tension with David by like trying to run off with Kate. Gabe, I don't think he's mad at us for this, but I just really hope that he just doesn't, he isn't completely one-sided with all of this because, oh my God, there's so, there's so many things he could get us in trouble for if he just completely betrays us and disowns us. Oh my God. And yeah, I guess that's about it really. Overall, alright, what's my concerns for, for the next episodes? I did wait a couple weeks, I think, before uh, starting this one, so hopefully the wait for episode 4 won't be that long compared to 1 and 2. Uh, oh, that's nice. Part of me wishes I had started the LP now, just because a physical version of season 3 got released right when episode 3 got released, so I just like to have physical copies of stuff. But of course, that's not happening. Okay, so what do I what do I want to say? My worries for episode four. I'm worried about. I just want to know who I can stick and trust. That's my biggest concern. Who the fruit is lying to us? I don't know. All right, one thing's for sure. All right, I know Clem isn't lying to us. I know Kate's not lying to us. That's ridiculous. Gabe isn't lying to us. But he's stinking paranoid and, like, one-sided with things. Like, he'll side with David no matter what, I think. Even if David outright says, yeah, I'm doing this evil stuff, Gabe would just side with him, I think, because of things. Because he's his dad. So there's that. And then Boyd and Trip, Boyd, Trip, and Ele Eleanor, they're not lying to us, I don't think. Like, they might be mad at us. I think those are just people where... We just need to win them over with doing good choices and stuff. Jesus is gone? Like, oh my god. I'm not sure if I should say this or not about Jesus. Like, oh god. I want to say it, but I'm afraid, like, I'll either be wrong or I'll spoil it for you guys. But, like, I might just... Alright, you know what? I'm just going to say it. So, because I want to be, like, right about something. So, I apologize if I might be spoil. Alright, you know what? Yeah. Here's the thing. Mackie, come up on the screen. As soon as Mackie disappears, then I'm done talking about what I'm speculating for things, alright? So how about that? Okay. When we met Jesus, he said his real name was Paul, but his friends call him Jesus? So, and that doctor's name is Paul. That's in New, that's the guy in New Frontier, his name is Paul. I didn't know that they were the same person at first, like the flashback doctor and then the current one. I didn't know that at first. But now that we're right at the end, we heard him call him Paul again. But, like, that doesn't make sense either. Because, like, Jesus was locked up before. No, that doesn't make sense. Jesus was locked up with the others when we were meeting with Paul for the first time. But they, they sound alike a lot. They really do sound alike. And the fact that he just walked off again... Like, on his own? I don't know what that was about. He just sort of left. Would he have stayed if I... Oh, wait, wait, wait. The let David into the room option isn't there. So that wouldn't have even mattered. Oh, of course. The one time I want to side with Clem, it doesn't even matter. Oh, I don't stinking know. I, I, doubt, I doubt Jesus left just because of that, though. That'd be dumb. Um... Okay, so I think Jesus and Paul are the same person because we've never seen them together. I know that's that's a dumb one, but like we haven't seen them together. They sort of look alike and no, more so sound alike. They sound very similar. I don't know if they have the same colored text. I wasn't really paying attention to that. Uh, and, but like if they are the same person, 
then Jesus can't be trusted either. So, oh, I don't know what his deal in this entire stinking thing is. Something tells me we haven't seen the, the last of him. Because, well, seriously, what's the point of him just being like, well, see ya. That doesn't make sense to me. So, I think he'll be, he's returning. And I think I'm right on that with him being Paul. But that doesn't explain how was he locked away while Paul was upstairs and like the other guys were there too. So th it's not like they just let him out or something like that. They never mentioned it at all. I don't know. All right. So I don't know. Jesus is iffy on whether or not we could trust him. Eleanor. Oh, spoilers, by the way, are gone. Uh, Eleanor. Uh, Trip and Boyd, I think we're good with. It's just a matter of making sure they don't hate us too much. I don't think they're going to betray us or they're evil or anything like that. The main people I'm just worried about is who the heck is lying right now? David or Joan? And stinking Lonnie. Thought we were friends, Lonnie. Uh, no one gets the joke. All right, then. Um, I don't know. What else do I want to say? What do I want to happen? In the next episodes, there's only two more. That's ridiculous. I want them to be longer. Uh, I actually had a little hiccup happen in the recording. So, uh, right when we were meeting Joan and Spinach guy, whose name I can't remember for the first time, the PS4 got unplugged actually. So I had to like cut the recording real quick and do a little thing. So I'm not sure how long this entire episode is. Like it looks like an hour and a half or something like that. But like I don't know if they were just going to be. If they're going to be getting rid of all these conversation segments where we're just like walking around investigating or like there wasn't any of that. There wasn't any puzzle solving. It was just straight up talk, 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 action, 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 action. And that's fun and all. But I just want, I don't know, I, I sound greedy for saying I want more content because it doesn't seem rushed in the end. Like with Michonne, how like it was like three hour game. Oh, in the end, it was just, it was okay with how, with the length and everything. And it was only three episodes of that. But with the main series, like, how much they were boasting, how it was going to be so much bigger than the other uh, Walking Dead games, and that's why it took so long to make, I don't know, just seeing these short episodes makes me question if that's really true or not. Because there's only two more left to go, and if they're the same length as these first three, I don't know. So, what do I want for the next two episodes, what I was trying to say? In terms of romance, who the heck I'm getting with, I don't care, honestly, if it's Eleanor or Kate, I really don't care. I just want both of them to be alive, because they're both good people, both my friends, both on my side, and I'd appreciate it if Trip wasn't super evil with me, if, didn't, if he didn't hate me for anything, so I guess I'll just leave the two of them alone for now, hopefully Eleanor's okay with that, and then... As for who I want to trust, who I want to have survive, uh, like I said, if anything happens to Clementine, that will be my biggest mistake and biggest regret. So I need to do everything I can to protect her, even though she clearly doesn't need protecting 24-7 anymore. She's her own person, and like, even if I'm not completely okay with how she turned out, if I don't like some things that changed about her, she's still Clem. So, and I'll always care about her. She's clearly still a good person. So, no matter what, I'm going to be supporting Clementine and trying as much as I can to make sure she's okay. AJ, obviously, as well. As, like, as soon as we can find out about him, if we find out David's lying or anything like that, I'm done with him. End of story. But now, right now, who do I want to trust with everything? Kate is terrified of David. So, what do I do with that? She's thinking terrified. I know there's not going to be a way of just ending it peacefully. There is not going to be a way of that. I want to say as long as we're with Kate, it'll be okay if we're with David, because we'll be protecting Kate if anything happens. But... Again, it's Walking Dead. I know that's not true. So, I guess that's my plan then. Protect Kate over trusting David. 
but just like try and egg David along to where he thinks we're on his side and just find out where the heck AJ is. Because, oh my god, Kate's another one of my like main priorities. Gabe, yeah, obviously we want him with us. I, I think it's going to be up to him in the end or just like up to our choices how much like he just trusts us in the end. I really don't think he's going to completely turn on us. I really hope not. I, I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt, and I'm hoping he'll be better than that. Not entirely sure, though. It, it all depends on, like, what happens with David. Like, just... If it's just a fight, I think Gabe will go with us. If it turns into something more than that, I'm not sure. But, yeah. Cliff Notes... Protect Clem at all costs. Side with Clem at all costs. Um, protect Kate over trusting David in the end. And then the thing with Joan and stinking David. I don't know what that is in the end. I don't know if that's just a last ditch ever to like get out of trouble with for Joan to get out of trouble. If that's just what Lonnie did. But I'm so confused. I'm not sure like with David's reactions either. I wasn't sure if he was like just angry at him for lying or he was confessing in that sort of moment i don't know i seriously don't know but that's it i guess that is episode three it was fun to record i'll say that much so and we're gonna have to be tortured for the next few months or weeks or however long it takes for them to get episode four out look forward to that well that's it for that's it for this episode i guess i hope it was worth the wait i'm sorry for the wait hopefully it won't happen again but yeah, we're back, baby. And now we're on hiatus, baby. And where the heck is my baby? Where's AJ? God darn it, whatever. Next time on The Walking Dead Season 3, A New Frontier, we're going to be starting Episode 4. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night. I don't want to play sticking Batman. We